Welcome to Hard Drive Sports. I'm sports editor Craig Harvey, joined by special guest Gene Pozik, our outdoor columnist. Uh, this week, Gene's going to tell us the good spots to fish and the life outdoors. Gene, where's a good spot to go? Right now, as soon as it warms up a little bit more, just about anywhere, all of the Lake Erie tributaries are going to have fish. Uh, as long as there's a, a decent amount of water flowing through them, you're going to find rainbow trout are going to invade even the smaller creeks. Now, this will happen while the water's cold, as it starts to warm up, as we start getting closer to Easter time or whatever, you'll see suckers will start invading the, the streams. But for right now, you're going to see a lot of trout in the streams, uh, and they're going to travel. Sometimes they're going to be there, sometimes they won't. The more um, people that you get walking or fishing through the streams, then all of a sudden the fish are going to start shying away. Their coloration is going to be fantastic. They're going to blend in with the stream like you wouldn't believe. Uh, but you, you catch these beauties right now, especially the ones that are uh, fresh run uh, trout. They are going to be um, in their most beautiful uh, springtime coloration. Um, like I said, you can find them in the riffles, you can find them in the deep pools. They'll be hiding under the banks, but there'll be a lot of fish. We're looking forward to a lot of uh, springtime rainbow trout in the creeks. I suspect uh, it's going to happen as the water continues to warm up, you're going to see carp will start coming into the harbor. And uh, we've had a couple of visitors come from out of town who really uh, keyed on carp. Matter of fact, they said the carp fishing in the Dunker Harbor was so fantastic that they recommended that those, they were wondering why the city of Dunker didn't even think about having a, a carp tournament. And evidently there's a huge interest in carp fishing, like especially from the uh, European fishermen. And uh, these guys spend an awful lot of money on, on gear designed strictly for carp, so that's an awful lot of fun. The channels, I've heard uh, that the channels over on Chautauqua Lake are starting to open up and you're going to start seeing calicos, uh, also called crappie, will start invading uh, the shallows. Perch have been biting all along on Chautauqua Lake in a variety of depths. Uh, they should be available for the, near the shoreline for anglers. Uh, bullheads. Bullheads are going to start biting. Uh, they'll be biting during the daytime and during the evening. You can fish for bullheads right off the city pier by the horizon. Uh, Verizon. 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 The Verizon. Uh, they seem to go ahead and like to hang out underneath, in the area underneath the, the boat. If you do fish nearby there, please take care. This is wherever you fish. By somebody's boat, take care, treat it as if it was your own. You don't want to go banging lures and lead sinkers off of that. So just you know, just have a little bit of care. And uh, also along the shorefront behind the Chadwick Bay Marina and the Clarion Hotel, that entire area, especially towards the shallows where the the mud the mud is, the shallower end, uh, you can go ahead and expect to get some nice bullheads. So they'll range in size from. Six, seven inches up to possibly two pounders.